Oh my word, that's so cool. This isn't necessary, and they do it. Like, this just looks so nice. Like, there are a number of companies, no names will be mentioned, that they just, their packaging looks like they don't care. Asus, mm, good on ya. Ooh, that is nice and light, which makes up for this heavy stinking thing. And what's even include a little uh, color gamut range chart for the monitor, which I think is great. Now, I, I will verify all these color gamut ranges. So you can charge this thing to be on the go, duh, of course, but hey, doesn't go without saying. They call it the XG16AHP, a very technical name for a portable 15.6 inch monitor. I've been really wanting to get my hands on one of these for a while to build a video called the Ultimate On The Go Battle Station, which if you're curious about that video, I'll link it up at the end of this video because I think you're gonna like it. If you're an on the go creator who wants powerful performance, but an on the go just battle station of a workstation, you're gonna love that video. But this is just covering the monitor right now that's gonna be included in that battle station video. And this is of course the Rogue Strix or Republic of Gamer Strix XG16, okay? I love this packaging. That's one thing I'm really impressed with by Asus the past couple of years. They are really coming out strong in the packaging department um, and just really in the overall build and usability of their products. I just feel like they continue to make decisions that not only help gamers, but also creative professionals. I think about the Asus ProArt 16 with the dial. Oh, love this laptop. Check that out on my channel if you're interested, but let's not digress into further products. That is kind of heavy, actually. This is the stand. That might be, that might ding it a little bit. I, if we're on the, talking on the go, you don't wanna, that's at least five pounds. Mm, no, not enough to curl with. Okay, I'm digressing. Man, I do like this packaging though. Look at that. That is really sweet. Now let's go ahead and get this bad boy open. Oh my word, that's so cool. So basically how this works, so as you open it, the little carrying case like lifts up out of the way to reveal the screen, which then pops up. Like I said, their packaging is, is fantastic. And look at this, this is like a little cloth tag. I love that, it's like a little cloth tag. It says, Republic of Gamer branded products always promise And my camera went dead up there. So it says, Republic of Gamer branded products always promise absolute leading performance for those... Oh, it, well, I th it, it kind of cuts off. Anyway, it's really, it's really cool. So here's our... Okay, I'm not gonna nerd out, but like, this isn't necessary. And they do it. Like, this just looks so nice. Like, why would, ugh. I'm not gonna fanboy, but there are a number of companies, no names will be mentioned, that they just, their packaging looks like they don't care. Asus, mm, good on ya. This, like, the care behind your packaging and products is just, it's, it's first class. And they even include a little uh, color gamut range chart for the monitor, which I think is great. Now, I, I will verify all these color gamut ranges, but it's really cool that they, uh, they drop this right in here to say, hey, this is, this is, what, this is what we got. We had a 1.3 uh, color accuracy for, that means uh, Delta E less than two, which is great. So Delta E is basically the amount of accuracy within the range that it covers. So it covers 97.5% of sRGB. And the accuracy of the range is 1.23, which is very accurate. The lower the number, the more accurate, which is which is awesome. Okay, continue on. Ooh, that is nice and light, which makes up for this heavy stinking thing. And then what's under here? My gosh, that is so thin. That is incredible. All right. Okay, we got our cords in here. Well done. We have an HDMI to micro HDMI. We have a USB-C to USB-C. And then we have this little cap. Maybe that goes in there. Maybe that covers. Maybe that covers the little screw hole to protect it. Um, really like this thing so far. Like if you're gonna pick a monitor, like they've got this thing going. Oh, interesting. Okay, hold on. 
We might not need to bring the super heavy duty. Um, love the box. All right. Well, we might not need to bring the super heavy duty. No, we don't. Okay. This is cool. I like this. Let's see what this is first before we move on. So as far as I can tell, oh, this is our charger block. All right, cool. So there's our little charger block. Okay, cool. Boom, boom. Cool sticker packs, but boom. Okay, let's get this thing unwrapped. Man, okay, if you're gonna get an external monitor, this is seeming to be worth the, uh, this, you know, probably slightly extra bucks than just some kind of like cheapy knockoff portable external monitor. Um, it just looks super nice. The functionality so far and color accuracy and build quality uh, seems great. So you can charge this thing to be on the go, duh, of course, but hey, doesn't go without saying. And I'll test the battery life and then I'll include that here in the video later. Um, so I'll you know, be shooting this unboxing and then I'll test the battery life. All right, so on the side here, you see we have two USB type C's. Um, let's see, power display, DCI, DC in, and then you can power another device. And then we have our HDMI and then our headphone jack. So you can actually have a headphone jack plugged into this. Now I will say, not gonna lie, it, it's, it's light. Um, I wish it was maybe like a, they're a magnesium alloy. To me, this is just, it's just a plastic material. Now it is light, but the magnesium alloy would have been light as well. But would that have made it more expensive? Uh, maybe, I, I'm not fully sure. Um, but it does seem well built. It just bet that it's plastic. I'm like, ah, I wish it was magnesium alloy. So that's, that's a personal preference. All right, let's go ahead and flip this out. Okay, that's really cool. Okay, so you don't need to bring along this, although it does come with it, which is actually really cool. So this is like a super beefy stand, which is, is, I find odd that they gave us this really beefy stand, right? But they didn't give us magnesium alloy. So if I were gonna critique, you know, cause we love to be honest here on this channel. If I were going to critique uh, this device, I would say, wow, super like girthy, heavy metal stand. But what I, the issue I have, now how do you tighten that? Okay, now I'm confused. Oh, that's cool. So it slides off. Okay, that's really cool. So you can go ahead and mount this. Put this in. Let me just tighten that. I wish this was a twisty screw too. I don't like that this is a, uh... okay, it sounds like I'm complaining all of a sudden. I mean, I kind of am. So I wish this was like a, a finger screw because when you're on the go, you don't want to always have to have like a screwdriver with you. I didn't fully get that on there, but it'll work for like example sake. So there you go. There's it with its really cool nifty stand. Um, I didn't tighten it all the way, obviously, because that would be a critique that I have. I wish you didn't have to bring a screwdriver along with you. And if this feels like an extended review, well, I hope you're enjoying it because you're getting my full perspective here on the monitor. Okay, there we go. Now it won't, now it won't tilt. So there we have it. That's it all set up with it's like super cool fancy stand. So if you're gonna like, what I would, here's what I would do. If you're gonna be on the go, I would not use this stand because it's kind of heavy, right? I would use it on the go. You can just kind of pull this thing off, uh, but then you don't have access to the flap. See the flaps then stuck. Um, so what I would do is I would keep this at home if you wanna use this at home as well and have like a really nice formal editing station. And then when you're on the go, just screw that off, pop that there, leave that on your desk. And then you can use the fin, let's we'll call this the fin, uh, when you're on the go, which I think is, is a great option. It keeps it light and thin, and then you only have to bring along you know, your, your cords here. Okay, now as far as battery life is concerned and the color gamut range, we're gonna get those results for you now. Now regarding the battery life, I got around three to three and a half hours of battery life. Now, if you're gonna be using this for gaming, chances are you're gonna get less battery life because you're gonna be using a lot of that refresh rate. Where for me as a graphic designer, video editor, photo editor, I don't have much refresh rate when I'm using uh, my different programs and working in different software. So as a video editor or designer, you're gonna probably see that three hour range. 
But the cool thing is, as long as you can get plugged in um, to maybe like your computer and then have it plugged in, it can be charging. So as long as you have your USB-C to USB-C on your laptop, say for instance, like, you know, you have the Flow X13, fantastic laptop. This is gonna be featured in the Battle Station. Definitely check it out. Um, you could go, I mean, for hours because you're plugged into power. But if you don't have the opportunity to be plugged into power, you see about three to three and a half hours of battery life, which for most gaming laptops is more battery life than the laptop. However, this laptop, we can see about nine hours of battery life on like productivity tasks. So this could be a great combination. And here's a little audio sample of the speaker on the front of the screen. And then regarding the color gamut range, I saw 98% sRGB. So the website claims 100%. The pamphlet in the box claims 97.5%. I saw 98% and I saw about a 1.31 in the Delta E where they're saying it's 1.23. Might just be, you know, maybe our calibrators or um, the you know brand they're using is slightly different, which it is. They're using the Konica Minolta. I'm using the Data Color. And so there's some of the discrepancies there. Now, remember, if you're curious about the exact pricing and availability, links are in the description below. Um, and also, check out the Battle Station video. I think you're gonna love it. Otherwise, likes of this video has brought you some value and subs if you don't miss out on the future uploads. I'll see you here in the next one.